Hello everybody and welcome. In this video we want to code the Vigineer cipher uh, that I went through in the last video. So to get started we can uh, start by making a quick sketch and a skeleton code of what we want to do. Um, actually first of all we can make uh, two dictionaries that maps a letter to an index. One way we can do that like this and how why this works is because uh, we how the zip function works is that we take one letter of a uh, of the alphabet the first one a and uh, it gets mapped to the first of a range uh, of len of alphabet which is zero and then b gets gets to uh, one c gets to two etc and then we t just make a dictionary out of that and uh, the other dictionary that we need is an index to letter, which is the exact same thing essentially, but now we use uh, the opposite. So we now want to map an index to a letter. All right, so a quick skeleton code. What we want to do is we want to have an encryption that takes a message and also the secret key. Uh, which is uh, from the last video, banana. So the idea here is that we want to, first of all, split the message to the length of the key. And then we want to convert the message to, to to index uh, and, the, and add the key. So just a quick comment of what it is that we want to do. It will make more sense when we actually code it. And then for decryption, we take input as the cipher, cipher text, and then also our secret key. And um, we want to do the same, we want to split the cipher uh, to the length of the key. Uh, yeah, convert cipher to index and subtract key in mod 26. Well, actually not mod 26, but modulus the length of the alphabet. In, in this case, it's 26 and then write the decrypted message text and then we just want to have a main function and run that okay so just quickly how it looks so to start so we have an encrypted text which is empty then we want to split the message and one way we can do this is that we can use a list comprehension and then we can uh, we can uh, make it so that we can uh, we can make a a for loop that starts at zero, and then it continues to till the end of the message, and then it has a jump of len length of the key. So this is start, uh, start and step in the for loop. So essentially it will first start to take zero to, uh, to the length of the key and then it will continue to do so. So if, yeah, I don't know how long our key is banana five. So if we have banana, then we start zero, five, and then five, t 10, 10, 15, etc. And if we are at the, if we're at the end, then that's no problem because then it will just take those last uh, letters. So that's how we split our message. And then what we want to do is we want to convert um, each of those to an index and add the key. So we can go for each split in our split message. 
and we can uh, create an index that keeps track of where we are in the key. And we can say four letter in each split. And then we take, we convert letter to index of current letter. And then we also letter to index of our key of the ith one. And then we take this modulus length of the alphabet. Let's call this number. And then the encrypted will be if we now convert this index to a letter. And then we also need to add i plus 1. And then at the end, return. Yeah, I guess so. This last here is what we're doing in yeah, this step. But, anyways. It should make sense as it, as it is also. So we want to return encrypted. Okay. So we can actually, let's see if we can run this now. Say we have key as a banana message. Uh, I love peanuts. And then uh, encrypted message. Encrypted of message key okay encrypted is not defined right function is called encrypt okay print encrypted message all right, and then we get this. And uh, the only reason why we don't get the same as in the last video is because then uh, this is uh, a is now zero, so it's, we can call it zero index in some way. Uh, whereas in the video it started with a one, so it will be slightly different. But when we decrypt this message, most importantly, we should get back our original message. I love peanuts. So let's try to do the decryption. We want to do the same here. We want to split the cipher. So decrypted first is an empty message. We want to split the cipher. So we can copy this. We're going to do the exact same thing, except that we're now going to use cipher. Yeah, let's call this split cipher. And then what we want to do is Essentially the same, so for each split in split cipher, we want to start with an index of zero, and then we want four letter in each split, and we do the same thing. Um, so actually, we can copy this. We're going to do letter to index plus letter to index of that key. The only difference here is that we're going to actually subtract that key and then the decrypted will be now if we convert that to a letter and then add i plus one yeah and the same so then uh, we want to return decrypted then if we now run decrypt of our encrypted message, comma our key, we get back our decrypted message. We should see that we get back our original, but we can print all of them to see. So encrypted message, let's see, decrypted message. Then we have encrypted message here, decrypted message here. Let's see. Yeah, and it uh, seems to work. So that's good. Um, one thing that could make it a little bit easier, let's say that we add a comma to our alphabet so that we can make text more easy, easier to read. Let's say now we can use spaces in our message and uh, we get this instead. So, um, Yeah, that works too.
all right so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and uh, see you next time